Uh, continuing with Acts 15, uh, it says they send uh, guys to Jerusalem to get an answer about Gentiles being circumcised. The question is, is why do they finally decide to require them to maintain three food laws combined with sexual immorality in verse 29? Right. As the only requirements to uphold, especially when debating the issue of circumcision, I don't understand how this ties into the issue of grace and the Gentiles not going back to the law. Okay. What, what he's talking about is in Acts chapter 15, um, Paul and Barnabas come back from uh, their ministry uh, to the Gentiles, and lots of Gentiles are getting saved. And one of the issues that came up was that there were uh, Jewish believers um, who were following behind Paul, <coughs> telling Gentiles that they needed to be uh, circumcised if, uh, if they wanted to follow the Lord. And where that comes from is in the Old Testament, uh, the sign of being uh, part of the Jewish nation was circumcision. And so there was an entrance sign. And, and so uh, children... Um, in Israel, men, obviously, uh, boys, would be circumcised on the eighth day, and that was a symbol of being a part of the nation of Israel. And then um, if you wanted to become a Jew uh, and, and you're an adult, then what would hap have to happen is you would have to get circumcised. And so these are Jewish believers, and they're thinking that um, if you really want to be part of the people of God, then you have to be Jewish and if you're going to be Jewish, then you got to be circumcised. And so that's where that whole thing came in. And Paul made it clear, and, and you see the same thing with Jesus. Um, uh, Paul made it clear that um, circumcision, becoming part of the Jewish nation, is, is not what needed to happen to be saved. And so basically what the Judaizers were doing were saying, if you really want to be a believer, you have to, be, you have to become a Jew, and then you can become a Christian. And Paul said, nonsense. You know, you just give your life to Christ, and there's no point... <laughs> in a Gentile getting circumcised. So they come to, uh, there's a big there's a big old row um, in the early church and they're having a big argument over it. And so Paul and Barnabas come to Jerusalem in the book of Acts in Acts chapter 15 and they have this argument publicly in the, in the sense that there's a council there. It's actually the first church council. And, and so the Judaizers are telling their story and Paul's telling his story. And Peter stands up and um, basically says, men and brethren, um, why are we trying to put a yoke of bondage on the, on the Gentiles that neither, neither we nor our fathers could bear? And uh, he, makes the, he makes the point that um, there's no point in Gentiles becoming Jewish. They need to follow Jesus. They don't need to become Jewish. And so uh, James... Um, <clears throat> gets up and, and uh, he reiterates that, that same uh, principle. Um, and when you get to the letter that was written to all the Gentile churches, um, that's what, uh, um, who, who was it that asked the question? Do you know? It doesn't say who, okay. who asked. That's what, the, that's what the question is about. And so they wrote a letter. And in the letter, they, this is what they say. Greetings. Uh, since we have heard that some who went out from us have troubled you, with words and settling your souls, saying you must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. It seemed good to us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who will also report the same things by word of mouth. Uh, for it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things that you abstain from things offered to idols, from blood, from things strangled, and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourself from these, you will do well. Um, and the reason that they, that they did that is because there were people in, uh, in every uh, Jewish, or excuse me, in every Gentile um, city who were Jewish. Um, earlier on, uh, James says this, um, therefore, Therefore, I judge that we should not trouble those from among the Gentiles who are turning to God, but that we write to them to abstain from things polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, and from things strangled, and from blood. For Moses has had throughout many generations those who preach him in every city being read in the synagogues every Sabbath. And so <coughs> the reason that, that they asked the Gentiles to do this was so that they wouldn't offend the Jews. And so it's the idea of uh, you want to be a good witness to the Jews, and so... Um, there's some things that, that Jews are going to have a real problem with uh, if, they, if they see you doing these things. And so obviously 
um, things offered to idols. You know, we're not supposed to be involved with idolatry um, from blood, um, and that comes from the from the food laws out of the Old Testament, uh, where it talks about um, you're not to drink the blood or have the blood with the meat. And so, Gentiles had had some had some weird eating habits, like blood pudding, for example. You know, that's. That's stuff I heard from, from I've never had it, but uh, that's a... Why? Yeah. Why have you never had it? Have you had it? No. Why, why would I? <laughs> exactly. It's not <that> appealing. <laughs> that's why. <clears throat> from things strangled, from sexual immorality. And so the whole point was not that they needed to keep uh, certain rules to, uh, for their um, relationship with God to be okay. The point was that you don't need to be... Um, uh, as, as Gentiles, we don't need to be people who are just out there, you know, flaunting our Gentileness in, in the face of, of Jews. Um, the the point being, um, we want to reach the Jewish nation with the gospel, and that's that's what James and the other guys were saying. Just be sensitive to to the people who are around you uh, was really the point of that. So, very good. Yeah, good.